my name is Melissa van Dijk and I'm a professional makeup artist and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply setting powder. Now if you're sick of reapplying your foundation during the day because it might not be as long lasting as it says, then you might want to try out setting powder, which you can apply after you're done with your base makeup. Now the reason why I'm going to tell you this is because what setting powder does is it melts in with your foundation and it just will like lock everything in so that it won't move during the day so that it makes everything long lasting so that you will also look beautiful at the end of the day. And we all know that we can get oily, we also can sweat quite a lot during the day depending on what, on what we're doing and if you want to keep your makeup long lasting then setting powder just controls it a bit more. Now of course it depends on what skin type you have and if you are a bit more oilier then you can also reapply setting powder during the day which is also much easier because you don't have to have a mirror you just can powder it all over your face and you're done whereas with the foundation you might need a bit more precision. Now I created some steps for you guys so that you can follow them at home as well and now let's move on to the tools first. So when it comes to the tools, of course, you will need to have some setting powder. This one is a loose setting powder and it's a professional one from Curla. Then you will need to have a powder brush. The brush that I'm using is from Da Vinci. Then you can also use a powder puff. So either powder puff or a powder brush. The powder puff is by Makeup Studio. And if you are applying cream makeup or you are going to create a very event makeup looking look, then you can also use the makeup sponge where you can also do some baking. But this video is not about baking, we wanted to keep it very natural for the everyday person. So that's why we are going to focus on the brush or on the powder puff. Now let's move on to step number one. Now for step number one, just use your favorite foundation and concealer etc. to prepare your face base first, which I already did to save up some time, but if you want to know on how to apply your foundation with a brush, then I just would recommend you watching this video right here and I just wanted to get right into the setting powder for this tutorial. Step number two, step puff or brush into the powder and focus on oily and dark areas on your skin. Then powder the rest of your face. Remove excessive powder by tapping the puff or brush on the side of the container for an even coverage. Dab the puff or brush underneath your eyes to even out dark circles and bags under the eyes. For a more natural look, blend the powder into your T-zone, across your forehead and your nose. Stay away from the edges of your face so the powder blends into your face more seamlessly. Step number 3. Continue using the puff or brush and blend powder by dabbing over the rest of your face to reduce whipping of your foundation. Use dab technique by pressing puff or brush onto your face and then go over the areas you are trying to cover. This way you are blending the powder into your face instead of whipping off the makeup initially applied. Step number 4. Wait 1 or 2 minutes before applying any more makeup. This gives the powder time to sink into your foundation base. Step number 5. Use your brush to lightly sweep powder all over your face for a smooth and flawless look. By following these steps, setting powder can help your makeup to last throughout the entire day. So once you applied the setting powder, I now can and also wanted to give you some information about pressed powder and also loose powder. Now the powder that I used was the one from Kirillan and it's also the translucent loose powder. And you can also get some pressed powder which looks something like this. This one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now there's one main difference, like one of the differences. 
and one of them is that this one is much finer when it comes to the grain and also how it applies on your face than a pressed powder. Now it doesn't really say like if it's a bad choice or a good choice, but for me personally, I also like to use one powder all over my face and I also wanted to use it under my eyes to just make sure that everything sets and also stays put. Now this one works for me the best. The reason why I use the Cruelan one is because it's a professional makeup artist brand, but everyone also can get it and reach out for it. The reason why I just wanted to focus more on that is because that's the powder that I've used when I've done my degree as a makeup artist and this is what we used every day. So I'm just really truly about Cruelan and also Makeup Studio as well. It's the same, like it's not the same brand, but it's also a professional brand and the powder is beautiful as well. Now if you want to go for, like if you're on a budget and you want to go to the drugstore, then the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder is also an amazing option. And I also done a review on that one, so if you want to see on how it performs and also how I like it and also what I don't like about it, then you can also check out this review right here on the top. Now it's up to you, you can use both with powder puff or with a brush and you're basically just doing the same thing as we just did in this tutorial. It just depends on which, which powder you're going to go for. But it just will lock in your foundation so that you can just enjoy your day and have also a beautiful makeup going on. Now I hope that you like this tutorial and I hope that you are now able to set your face with setting powder. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate and let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!